Hello and welcome to Furball Reviews. This time we're going to be looking at the Pebble Smartwatch. Okay, I bought this uh, second hand on eBay and it did not come with any packaging so we'll skip that usual first part and go straight into it. Here is the Pebble. It's the original version, not the steel. So it's all plastic pretty much. Um, and your sort of normal rubber strap. It comes with this charging cable, which is just a USB on one end, so you can use a USB port on your computer or any uh, USB plug basically. I stick this into my iPhone's one every five or six days or so when it needs it. It has this proprietary connector which is magnetic and goes into the side of the watch here like so and just clips into place and then comes off so there's no proper sort of US mini USB ports or anything which allows the watch to remain slightly waterproof the buttons on the pebble are pretty simple you've got the left button here which is your sort of back button the middle button which is like enter select and then up and down so fairly straightforward um, to switch between watch faces you just press the up and down buttons uh, this these three are the default ones that you get on the pebble when you get it which has the date and time that one which is written in words and an analog one with a date now it's very easy to download more if you want them I'll go through that in a bit uh, for now let's just scroll through the other ones I have on the watch at the moment. Uh, this is the one I use most often just because it's big so it's easy to see at a glance. If you shake the watch because it has inbuilt uh, sensor so you can, it detects movement some apps use this and some watch faces use it in this one if you shake then you temporarily get the battery status and some seconds and this is an animated one so it will do a little animation when it changes like so. So then I have this one, which is like an old fashioned sort of Casio digital watch. Um, so that tells you the battery percentage there. There's a Bluetooth thing there normally. Uh, my phone's Bluetooth is switched off at the moment because I'm using it to record this. And we have this one, which updates with the weather. <laughs> it's just vibrated because it's trying to get an update from my phone. And like I say, my Bluetooth is switched off. So um, this normally updates like every 30 minutes and it will tell you like the location where you are when it does it. It's quite useful that. Then another slightly better looking analog version. Okay, so this is coming up with a warning telling me that I have no Bluetooth connection. And the little line underneath where it says Pebble is actually the battery indicator. At first it just looks like it's underlined but that gradually goes down as a sort of discrete battery indicator. Um, what's next? Oh, you've got the little monster face, and then that's it. Um, some app, some watch faces, like the one I usually use, it vibrates when it disconnects Bluetooth. This is quite useful because if you leave your phone somewhere and walk off, and it will say that there's no Bluetooth connection, at which point you should put two and two together and realize that you left your phone. Setting up the Pebble is very, very simple. Um, you basically switch on Bluetooth on your phone to discover it. There is a code on the screen. You uh, download the Pebble app and it, it's basically just very easy step by step. It takes you know, less than a minute to, uh, to get it up and running. So let's have a quick look through the functions. This does have a backlight um, at the moment. It's set to uh, only come on with ambient. So if I press the button now, nothing happens. You can have it set to do it via movement, like with the shake for the battery. Um, I turned that off because I didn't want it to be wasting my battery by coming on through movement. So let's have a quick look through the settings. You press the middle button to access the settings. So 
let's just go through. You can have your alarms set for different times and get it to vibrate as well. Here you can select your watch faces, but it's easier to just do that. Uh, on the main menu, settings, so you turn the Bluetooth on and off, notification settings, uh, you can enable a do not disturb time, which is very useful, so I've set it between 1 and 7 in the morning, so any emails and stuff I get through that time, well, it doesn't make my watch go off, that's for managing any activity tracker apps you've got, I don't have any at the moment. Quick launch, um, this is the ability to press and hold up or down from the watch face um, to quickly launch an app of your choice. So I've set that to go to notifications to, uh, on the top one and to go to notes on the bottom one and then setting the date and time. There you go, backlight is auto and controlled by ambient light. I've turned that one off, English is my language. That's just about shut down and reset. So very simple. Um, other things that it will do is, come on, settings. Uh, these two at the bottom are apps. You can change the order of this. Um, your other apps that aren't watch faces show up at the bottom. So maze is what it says it is. You can choose between hard, which is quite hard to see and takes a lot of time. So let's just quickly put it on easy. And this uses the tilt sensor, that motion sensor in the uh, watch, so you can, but this is a very easy little one, and then give it a little vibration when it's done, and then just press this button to back out. Notes is quite useful, what I've actually, you can just put like a shopping list or something and it will display it on your wrist, um, it's actually, it seems a bit silly but it's quite useful, I use notes on my iPhone and having to keep turning my phone on because it keeps turning itself off every minute and keep getting it out of my pocket while I'm going around the supermarket is quite annoying but if I can have it permanently just displayed on my wrist to keep glancing at it's actually very very useful so I actually use that one quite a bit so to launch that I put it as pressing in holding that and then you can go oh look there's my shopping list that I just made for this and if I press and hold up it will come up with like uh, recent things, so messages I've got from people, emails I've got from stuff, from Bungie and so on. Okay, so we're just going to quickly phone myself from my house phone to uh, show what happens when you get a phone call. So there you go, the phone's going off. As you can see, I can hang up or answer the phone, so I'll hang up that. Okay, so the app uh, for the Pebble is very simple to use. You have a locker down here, which is basically things that you've got that aren't on the one of the eight slots. So these are just like silly little games and other watch faces that I have downloaded that aren't on, and these ones are the current ones. Uh, if you go on one, you can choose to unload it. Other ones have settings, so you can change whether you want the blink to be on or turn it inverted colours, whether you want the Bluetooth connection lost to cause it to vibrate, which is very useful. Um, to buy new things, you just go to get watch faces. different ones basically there's sort of picks like recommended ones down here most loved here so the most likes basically and then if you go to the one here it's just basically the most recent so someone's just created one that's just got lots of names but a little different novelty watch faces and there's still some that are in color now that you get because of the new versions and if you want to get new apps it's basically the same process um, all just going to be the most recent ones and then most loved and then some picks you can also change your settings 
for your phone, uh, for your watch, sorry. And you can do your test notifications here, so you can send a pretend text message, which comes up saying, text on your watch, oh my god, that's awesome. So yeah, the app is uh, the app's quite useful. Music as well. So if I open the music app on my phone, on the watch, you double press the middle button to bring music up. And it will show you the, uh, that's what my camera focuses, it's not very useful, there we go. So it shows you the track, an artist, uh, there, so you've got the artist there, track name, album at the bottom, little bar showing how far through it is, you would skip and play and pause, so if I press play, pause that and then so yeah that works quite well Okay, so overall, I would uh, definitely recommend the Pebble uh, for people who are interested in trying a wearable and uh, I'm not sure whether they want one or not. This is the exact reason why I bought this. When the Apple Watch was being hyped, you know, I want one. But I did start thinking, you know, is it is it a bit pointless? Do I, do I need one? I mean, obviously you don't need one, but, you know, to the point of would it be... Would it be useful or not? So I bought this because I managed to get it for like 50 quid, um, which compared to 340 quid for the Apple Watch I'd buy, is a much safer bet to try something if you're not sure whether you want it or not. This has been very useful for notifications, which is basically its primary function, apart from telling the time. Um, this It doesn't do as much as the Apple Watch will. It's built to be simple. Um, and notifications, it does really well, and it's very useful when I'm at work to uh, be able to just quickly glance at my watch. I don't have to keep getting my phone out to see if uh, what's come through is urgent or not, basically. Um, so with a quick glance at my wrist, I can see that, oh, it's just an email from Microsoft or Sony or something game related, and I can just press the middle button to dismiss that. And that's it. it. Takes a couple of seconds. You just go, oh, what's that? No, done. So, for the notification sort of uses, it works very, very well. Um, there is an other versions of uh, Pebble. There is a newer version called Pebble Steel, uh, and it's essentially the same. Has the same black and white sort of e-paper display. Uh, the only real difference is aesthetics. It's uh, in a metal, obviously, steel case, and uh, you have a leather band with that, and it comes with an optional uh, steel link bracelet as well. So it looks a bit more premium. Interestingly, there are also uh, two new ones coming soon, which are called Pebble Time and Pebble Time Steel. Now these will still have the same battery life as the original Pebble. This lasts up to seven days. I generally get about five, I'd say. Um, yeah, the Pebble Time uh, features a colour e-ink screen. So you do get colour. It's not going to be the same as like the Retina display on an Apple Watch. Um, I think it only has like 64 colours, but it does have colour. And because of the technology, it still lasts seven days. I think the Time Steel actually has slightly bigger battery and lasts up to 10, it says on the website. Uh, this will also introduce a new operating system um, based on like future, I can't remember which one, one of these is future, present and past. I think it's future, present and past. Um, so you can look at notifications you've missed, current is, I'm not sure actually until it comes out, <laughs> I don't know. And like future will be like upcoming calendar events, things like that. 
Uh, I do believe that when the new version comes out, uh, that the original here and the Pebble Steel will be getting upgraded firmware, which will have a similar timeline based operating system. So it'll be interesting to see what that is like when, uh, when it gets here. So yeah, uh, definitely recommend it. Very simple to use, very easy to put new apps and new um, watch faces on. The only limiting factor is that you can only have eight things on it at once. So at the moment I have uh, I have my maze and notes taking up two slots. And then in watch faces, I have, uh, they're the three that you get on there, so they don't count. So I've got one, two, three, four, five in there. So I have one space on my watch at the moment. Um, because of the fact that it's quite simple, and it's mainly just notifications based things, I haven't found that to be a problem yet. Don't know, maybe they'll change that limitation with the new uh, firmware when it comes out. But we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, as I mentioned, I got this just as a sort of seeing how what I thought of wearables. And as it turns out, I've grown to really like them and find it very useful. Um, almost to the point where I'm not really sure buying an Apple Watch is worth the money for what you get extra over one of these. So I think for the moment I'm going to keep this. I don't really want to get rid of it after a few months and spend nearly £350 on an Apple Watch. Almost forgot to mention. One of the best features about this is compared to all your Android Wear and your LG G Watch R and Moto 360 which are all Android based and your Apple Watch which is iOS based, this works on both. Even if you change your phone, you can still keep this and it'll still work the same, which is very useful. If I decided to go to Android after my iPhone 6, it'd be a bit annoying that I'd have to basically get rid of my Apple Watch as well. Well, that concludes this review. Thanks for watching.